Hi there, traders. This is Brad Goodwill with the FX Market Insight for Tuesday, the 26th of November. All right, now we're starting to see the US dollar sort of make a few moves here. Now I've got the Aussie. I mean, they're not super aggressive by any stretch, but they are moves all the same. So the Aussie are just dipping down below uh, the support line there at 67.80. Really doesn't showing a lot, not showing a lot of momentum just yet, but we may see that continue. Kiwi uh, strong retail sales figures keeps it pretty buoyant. Okay, pretty pretty much sitting on that top side. Uh, dollar yen chance of a U.S. China trade deal seems to be looking like a pretty good thing. So, you know, that safe haven trade's being unwound and it's it's heading higher. Euro heading down below, just below one ten ten, but not really quite breaking one ten to figure yet. To me, it still looks like it's ready to go to 109. And, uh, you know, various Brexit news, sterling pretty much trading that bigger range. And dollar CAD, after consolidating around 132.70, starting to show signs of that dollar strength as well. And that's really decoupled itself from uh, oil, which is still sitting around 58 bucks. So that's where we are at the moment. So when I bring you back across to the MyFX Trading Hub, just to give you a bit of a look around here where the analysis sort of all sits. Okay, we're just sitting here right in the uh, middle of the Asian session. Now, to me, the major charts do have got a bit more shape to them. Uh, we're seeing all the dollar pairs, right? They're starting to show a bit more shape. I think traders on the downside here, on the downside currencies, are still waiting for things to line up a bit more besides, you know, just a little bit of hope in that US-China trade deal. But uh, dollar CAD and dollar Swiss still holding on to those recent gains across a couple of time frames. They look the best at this stage. The dollar index still edging up higher, but you know what? Still only on the hourly. There's no like major revelation. So we are starting to see the dollar rally. That's the main part of what you need to be aware of. Now, obviously, uh, the market drivers, still the uh, major, the three troubling uh, things, the Trump impeachment process, China-US trade and Brexit, still overshadowing things. And that's why we're not seeing a lot of volatility. Traders don't believe these events are over. Now, when you come into trading, looking at the key events, we've got the RBA Governor Lowe speaking. Uh, you know what? When the Governor speaks, depending on well, whichever central bank it is, it's always an important thing. We do get the first look at the um, consumer confidence numbers. Uh, and then later on, we will get the RBNZ financial stability report. So Aussie and Kiwi in play. And if we get some strength in these U.S. consumer confidence numbers, we may see, you know, the Aussie and, and Euro in particular continue lower. Now, don't forget Wednesday, okay, just a bit of a heads up. I know this is a day out. We've got the U.S. core durable goods and the PCE price index. Really, uh, and one of those other good inflation numbers the Fed looks at. But as you come into Thanksgiving on Thursday, right, so pretty much Wednesday lunchtime, you'll see people leaving, especially in New York, Lunchtime, they're already moving, okay? Everyone's flying back to where they, where they need to get to. Uh, so we're going to have a pretty short week. You get into Wednesday, the numbers will come out. And depending on what happens, we may have a trade or may not. But then I think we'll start to really see the markets diffuse uh, that momentum unless there is some resolution on these geopolitical events. So you come through Thursday's trading, it's going to be very quiet in that North American session, barring any weird catastrophe. Uh, and then as we go through into Friday. It's really all about the euro and all I'm looking for is some weak numbers there. So that's pretty much today and the next couple of days. I just want to give you the, keep giving you the heads up on this US holiday. It's a big event. It's, uh, it, the markets are already showing obviously very low volatility. Just bear that in mind as you go to trade. All right, guys, have a good trade day. Cheerio.